I beg your pardon, officer. Are you an Irishman? Sure I am. Good. Then you can tell me where I can find a drink. What's that? I said, where can I find a drink? Say, where have you been? Well, uh, away. You see, the last time I was in town, whenever I wanted to find a speakeasy, I always asked an officer. Well, if it's good liquor you want, go to the Georgian Club. 27 Weddington Place. The Georgian Club? Yeah. And you don't have to speak easy either. It's legal. Oh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> well, if ever you need a favor, look me up. Here's my card. Would you like? Huh? Oh, um, that. But I'll make a scotch and soda. <laughs> Have one yourself. Don't mind if I do. You can make mine the same. She'll be here any minute. You can't have any fun with our women. I know. I've been pinned up for four years. Oh, yeah? Where? Leavenworth? No. Princeton. Come on, Joe. Come on. Where is that dame? You don't answer. She must be on her way up. I'll send her over as soon as she gets here. All right. The fleet's in Cuba. This is a cheerleader looking for a good time. College boy, eh? I'll give him an education. Where is he? <laughs> Over there. you haven't seen a woman in years. Maybe I haven't. Well, they haven't changed models much. I know that. Seems to me they make them much prettier than they used to. Send her over to your table. Well, she didn't show up. There she is. Oh. 
Now, you don't look like a college boy. And what do you know about college? Who, me? I taught the football team how to make passes. <laughs> Say, Bright Eyes, you're at the wrong table. Joe calls you for me. Who are you and who's... Come on, we got a date. Take your hands off me and run along. Here, kid. How would you like a punch in the nose? How would you like me to call the bouncer and have you thrown out? Stand up and I'll show you. Come on, buddy. You belong off the other side. Wait table. a minute. A tough guy here. Say, so he was going to take a punch to you and you just sat there. That's right. How much pushing around do you take before you get sore? Quite a lot right now. Well, you won't fight for anybody but a lady. You're only partly right. I won't fight for anybody. What's the matter? Afraid of your social position? No, just my... And I thought you were a gentleman. <laughs> Don't let the clothes fool you. Look. What is that, a gag? No, not exactly. They just don't belong to me, that's all. Putting on a front. Well, you can call it anything you like. About six hours ago, I was sitting in a prison cell. This was all a million miles away. You see, I'm out on parole. Oh. Well, that's why you couldn't slug it. Would have been a lot of fun. But it would have cost me five years more. I'm not worth five years to anybody. All I have to show for years of hard work in the pen. Now I'm out for a big time. Are you with me? I'm sorry. I'd like to. But I can't let pleasure interfere with business. Good luck. Thanks. Same to you. Say, what is this, a runaround? What's the matter, May? He got me here under false pretenses. That guy's broke. Hello, baby. Did you change your mind? Oh, cut it out, will you? Oh, no, no, don't give me that. Do you know who I am? No, and I don't care. Beat it. Oh, no, listen. No, I like you. Let's see oh, you all get together. Stop Thank it. you, pretty sweet. Oh, you do, yeah. will you? Well, all right, now go away. All right, alone. Keep your hands off of me. Hey, look at Bob. Pardon me. Shave. Now what? Well, I've still got the 483 and I'm still out for a big time. Let's make it a real night. Holy mackerel. What's the matter? I forgot Lepkovich's hat. <laughs> <laughs> You bring the duck. <laughs> you know, 
I just found out something. What did you find out? People have more fun than anybody. <laughs> You're still busy from riding on the merry-go-round. Here's your chain. Give it to me when you get a job. Hey. You're pretty swell. Sure. What's the matter? Nothing. I just thought you were different. Why should I be? I've been in jail for five years without even seeing a woman. Five years? That's nothing. I'm in jail, too, but it's different. I'm in for life. You know, I never thought of it that way. How long have you been serving? Not long, but there's no parole. Might get time off for good behavior. Good behavior don't get a girl anything. I know. I tried it. Oh, go on. Try it again. You can do it. Look who's talking. What'd you do time for? I was a fall guy. Society owes me five years. Beginning tomorrow, I'm going to make them pay me back for every minute I've lost. You're a smart guy. You'll be right back in the pen. You know you can't get away with it. Now look who's talking. You're right. It's pretty tough for both of us. There ought to be something we could do about it. Maybe if we got together and helped each other. We might make the grade. Yeah. While I'm out making that honest living, what'll you be doing? I'd wash dishes, scrub floors, do anything for a man that was on the level with me. I want to be decent. Don't you? Joe? Yeah, this is May. What is it? A party? My name's Nichols, Mr. Donovan. The warden told me to report to you. Nichols? I don't want you to think of me as your parole officer. I want to be your friend. To help you go straight. Have you made any plans? Don't you think it'd be a good idea to change my name? Who's going to give Steve Nichols a job? I'm sorry. But you know the parole rule. You've got to keep your right name. But don't worry. You'll find lots of people that'll give you a break. Yeah, well, I'll need a bit. Well, good luck. Is that all? That's all. Well, thanks. Goodbye. You seem to have the necessary qualifications. Uh, how about references? Well, I'll come clean with you, Mr. Douglas. I'm just out of prison on parole. I had five more years to serve. I was released the day before yesterday for good behavior. What were you sent up for? My name's Steve Nichols. Oh, I'm... I remember that case. And I'd like to give you a chance, but it's out of the question. Sooner or later, someone would come in here and recognize you. That wouldn't do at all. No, I suppose not. You need money? No, thanks. Mr. Reynolds, here's a very popular number. Pardon me, Mr. Watson. A gentleman to see you. A gentleman to see me? Well, maybe he isn't. He looks like sort of a cop. Uh, pardon me. Oh, Steve. 
Yes. Will you take care of Mr. Reynolds? Yes, sir. Do you like this, Mr. Reynolds? No, I don't. Is there anything particular you had in mind? Well, something that'll make me look like you around the waist. Now, what do you suggest? Well, frankly, a little more exercise. But I think I know just what you want. <laughs> He's only worked for me a little while, Mr. Donovan. But I've never had a better salesman. Well, I'm glad to hear you say that. Of course, you'll keep him on, Mr. Watson. Well, I... The boy is trying to make good. He's trying to go straight. I know he is. Why not give him a break? <laughs> well, I... I don't know about that. I, I'll have to take that up with my partner. Well, just give me a chance. I can tell anything. I'm sorry, Mr. Nichols, but it's a strict ruling of this firm. We never employ anyone without references. I'll work a week for nothing to show you what I can do. Now, there's the best reference in the world. But the advertisement said, reference required. I'm sorry, I can't do anything for you. Okay. What kind of a job can you handle? Any kind of an office for selling references? Listen, can't a man get any kind of a job without references? Nothing doing, pal. It's tough enough to place men with references. Next. Dinner will be ready in a minute. Any luck today? Yeah. I pounded the pavement all day for a measly dollar. Well, I don't worry. You'll get a break. There's the paycheck. Put it in the safe. What's this? Another pawn ticket? I tell you, I won't stand for it. Oh, quit your beeping. Who needs a fur coat with summer coming on? I'm fed up. What do I get for being on the level? Nothing but holes in my shoes. That's all. I'm through. Oh, don't let it get you down. It can't go on forever. You're right. It won't go on forever. I've been a sucker. Steve Nichols pounding the streets with a sign on his back for a buck a day. There's a laugh for you. I tell you, I haven't got a chance. I'm an ex-con for the rest of my natural life. I'm through with jobs, all right, yeah. But I'm not through. No. No, they'll pay me. I'll show them. They'll pay me, and they'll pay me plenty. No, I don't, please. Oh, I'm tired of sponging on you. I thought we settled that before. Well, it's settled now. I'm washed up. Okay. Hello, Joe? This is May. Yeah. What? Out of town? No. Out of my head. Put me on your list again. I'm back in circulation. Forget it. All right. You win. <laughs> oh, Steve.
How long did you work on your last job? Five years. Well, now, that's what we like. Industrious young men who don't jump around from place to place. I think we can use you. Of course, you have references. No. They don't give references where I work. My name's Steve Nichols. I'm just out of the pen on parole. Well, I hate to kick a man when he's down, but that makes it different. I admire you for telling me. That's all right. Now, oh, wait a minute. Let me talk to my partner, Mr. Baum. You sit there. Yes. I'm going to engage a new man. Go ahead. Why bother me? It's Steve Nichols. Steve Nichols? Don't you remember? He did time for a phony stock deal. Why do we want him around here? Don't you see? When we have to take it on the land, this guy Nichols, with his past record, is a cinch to hold the bag, eh? Jim, I congratulate you. You're not as stupid as I thought you were. Young man? Uh, I know. You're sorry. Now, wait a minute. We're going to give you a chance. You what? We're going to give you a chance. You mean you're going to give me a job? That's right. <laughs> well, I, uh... I don't know what to say, except that... Thanks, Mr. Harley. You've no idea what a tough time... Now, uh, you understand, this is an investment house. Someone might recognize your name, so we'll have to change it. We'll call you Steve, uh... Steve Cummings. Hmm? I know, but they said that I... All right. Anything you say goes. When do I start? In the morning. And, uh... Here's something in advance. I suppose you can use it. <laughs> can I use it? Can I use it? Well, well, thanks, Mr. Harley. Yes. Uh, well, then I'll see you the first thing in the morning. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Goodbye. Thanks very much. I'll see you in the morning. Greetings, my lady. Hello. Eat, drink, and be merry. Are you both? Not yet. Oh, but you haven't met Stephen Cummings. Eight salesman for Harley and Bond. Stephen Cummings. Oh, they know who I am, but they're just giving me a chance to start all over again under a new name. Oh, Stevie. Stevie, don't. <laughs> oh, you don't know how glad I am. Why, why every time you walked out in here, I, I was afraid you wouldn't come back. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 look, you're not going to cry all over my suit, are you? It's the only suit I've got. Do you want it to shrink? Well, there's... Can a girl have a good time if she wants to? Sure, sure. Get some glasses and let's start. Uh, come on. One for you and one for me. To Steve. Now, to me. Now, there you are. Our first quarrel. All right. Let's we'll settle it when I come back. Steve Nichols in. Uh, who are you? I'm an old friend of his. Oh, you're an old friend of his? Yeah. No, he doesn't live here anymore. Well, can you tell me where I can get in touch with him? I haven't any idea. Hey, wait a minute. You look all in. Come in here. Sit down. Here, drink this. Now, oh, what's the matter? I'll be all right. Say, when did you eat last? Well, I was in sort of a hurry this morning, and I didn't have any breakfast. Sort of a hurry when lunchtime came, too, huh? Well, I guess I've been in sort of a hurry for the last couple of days. Oh, you poor kid. Oh, this is, uh, uh, Mrs. Cummings. My name's Stephen Cummings. How do you do? Go get up. I'm Tom Martin. Well, you're going to stay here and have dinner with us. Oh. Thank you. I won't be long. Here. 
Have another. Well, I feel better already. Say, you better take it easy. So you're a friend of Nichols, eh? Not exactly. In fact, I hate the man. What did he ever do to you? He killed my father. He what? What's that? Dad killed himself when he found that his Nichols had made him invest his entire fortune in worthless stocks. Well, maybe Nichols didn't realize it was worthless stuff. Yeah. I'll bet right now he's got a million salt of the way and is living on the fat of the land. How did you find out he was living here? I called at the parole office and they gave me this address. Well, I guess I'd better get going if I'm ever going to find him. Thanks very much for everything, Mrs. Cummings. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. You better spend the night here and get a good rest. Oh, no, no, thank you. I've imposed on you enough as it oh, is. Oh, no imposition at all, is it, May? We've plenty of room. Yes, of course. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Of course. Come on. I'll show you your room. See the door right there? Yes. Now go in and make yourself at home. Thank you. Well, that was a narrow escape. Yeah, but what's the idea of having him stay here? That kid gets out, he goes straight to the parole office and starts Donovan investigating. So what? I've got to hold that job. Which means we've got to hold that kid. At least until he gives up the idea of trailing Steve Nichols. Maybe we better adopt him. You know, May, I feel sort of responsible for the things that have happened to him. I'd really like to help him in some way. I'll do everything I can to help. I knew you would. Oh, it's you, Mr. Donovan. Uh, won't you come in? Good evening, Mr. Donovan. Good evening, Mr. Nichols. Will you sit down? No, thank you. I've just a few minutes. I suppose you've come over because I failed to report today. Oh, Steve, didn't you report? I forgot all about it until it was too late, dear. I hope you won't hold it against my record. I have enough faith in you, Steve, to overlook it. In fact, I'm reporting to you tonight. To me? Do you know Thomas Martin? Uh, why, yes, I, I believe I met him once. Well, he didn't always use. I thought so, so I gave him your address. After he left, I began thinking it over. Wondering if he was stalling. Seems to be a responsible sort. Yes, I think he's a little irresponsible, but he's right. Well, I'm glad of it. Had me worried a bit. Well, I appreciate your interest. It's very nice of you to come over. How are things going, Steve? All right, I'm still out of dough. That's pretty good for an ex-convict. Well, all you have to do is to remember your role regulations. I know. Good night, Mr. Nichols. Good night, Mr. Donovan. Good night, you. Good night. When he learns about my new name, it will be good night. Well, Tom, you're beginning to look like a new man. Take two weeks of maize cooking and make anybody look like a man. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what good cooking was until I tasted hers. Mm -hmm. Another comment like that and I'll ask for a raise. Well, if you'll take it in kisses, I'll double your pay right now. How about a little advance on next week's wages? If you're ever sure, don't hesitate to ask. Mm. <laughs> that wages, that salary. Come on, dear, you'll be late at the office. Oh. Hey, I feel like an awful no good sponging off the two best friends I've ever had. Oh, I doubt May says she wouldn't be able to do the housework without your help. We'd like to have you around, don't we? Of course we do. Bye. Bye, darling. Bye. 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 How's about to do a little sweeping while I clean up the mess? Sure. You and Steve been married long? Quite a while. Why? You're crazy about him, aren't you? What do you think? I think you are. You never were more right in your life. You ever been married, Tom? No, never even been in love. It's grand. You ought to try it. I gotta find this fellow Nichols. And after that, there won't be any use in being in love. Oh, you're a disappointment to me. I thought you'd snap out of that. Well, I've tried. But when I get something on my mind, I can't get it off. You've only heard one part of the story. Nichols may not be as guilty as you think. Maybe he was imposed upon. 
Maybe he suffered as much as those who lost money. He didn't die, did he? Being locked up in jail for years is worse than dying. Then there's all the suffering when you come out. Trying to get a job and being turned down because you're an ex-convict. Dodging police, tramping streets, trying to avoid prison companions and the temptation to commit crime again and be sent back. You don't know this fellow, Nichols. If you did, you'd hate him. He's a thief and a murderer. And now they've turned him loose to do it all over again. Oh, listen, kid. If we all cried every time we were hurt, why, we'd be sniffling all the time. There wouldn't be anything in life. Gee, I wish I could be more like you, May. No bitterness, no harshness. You're a sweet, lovable kid. And I'm going to teach you a new outlook on life. I think it could. Things are different. know everything, don't you? Well, almost everything. You don't happen to know where I could get a job, do you? No. But I know you're welcome here until you do. May tells me you're moving into a new bungalow. That's right. There's an extra room there for you, too, Tom. Oh, that's great, Steve, but I think I better be moving on. You're moving in. Don't you ever get tired of company? Oh, quit bragging. You're not company. You're just family. Okay, okay. Nothing else to do. Here, give me. Oh, no, I'm the person talking. Here we are. Hold this to daddy, will you? Go. Hey, cut it off. You know, this is the first real home I've had in over five years. And I can't tell you how I appreciate it. Skip it. What do you suppose Steve ever took me in here for? He's funny that way. Maybe it's because he's been bumped around, too. He's a great guy. You're telling me. There we are. Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Wonder how Steve's going to like the way we're fixing up the new place. Not very much if we don't get a hustle on. Come on, next window. Okay. I yeah, hope we brought everything. All right, wise guy. You got to think of this. Now get us out of it. Quiet. How can I think and you're shooting off your mouth? Why didn't you think before we went broke? You paid out all our money on dividends. How can we attract new dough without paying big dividends? That's the only way to handle suckers. We'll be the suckers when the examiners start checking up on us. We haven't even getaway money. Well, there's only one thing to do. We've got to hook somebody with a lot of dough. Say, how about that widow, Mrs. Wilson? No use. She won't buy. How do you know? Why, everybody's tried to tell her except Nichols. There you are. Salesman in the house, he doesn't even get a chance. Send Mr. Cummings in. Say, what are you going to do? You just watch me. Steve, my boy, we're proud of you. You've been doing some fine work. Thank you, Miss Darling. You keep it up and you'll be a member of the firm. It's up to you. What? Well, I'll, I'll do my best. Uh, one of our clients, uh, Mrs. Wilson, has just collected $100,000 on her husband's life insurance. Now, she has to invest that money someplace, and you know there's no better investment than our trust funds. You shouldn't have any difficulty in selling her. And the moment you close the deal, you're a partner in the firm. With an inducement like that, I could sell anyone. Devote all your time to it. Have someone else take over your routine work. Say, I know a young fellow who can handle that very nicely. Good. Bring him in tomorrow. We'll put him to work. 
All right, I will. Thank you, gentlemen. Don't thank you. Say, what's this gag about a partnership? Are we going to let him in on this rake off? Oh, don't be a sad. When we skip with a hundred thousand, he'll be the bait we leave behind to satisfy the law. <laughs> That's what I figured. Hey, give me those. What for? You're not going to put them up there, are you? I certainly am. For what? A special reason? I'll go. No, no. That's Stevie. Oh, I, I beg your pardon, madame. I don't recognize the place. I must be in the wrong house. Oh, that's all right. Won't you come in for a little while? My husband is at home. Is he jealous? Oh, terribly. Oh, that's bad. Mm. Mm. Hello, Steve. <laughs> Is that any way to address your boss? Young man, I want to see you at your desk in my office tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock sharp. Do you mean you really got me a job? A position, my boy, a position. Oh, gee, Steve. I could... Now run along, run along. Can't you see I'm busy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for that, you'll get a Rolls Royce. Hey, Steve, what is all this? Never you mind, it's a great big secret. Now, you know I'm a stranger here. You'll have to show me around. Well, sir, this is the living room. Mm -hmm. And if you will come with me, I will show you the dining room. The dining room is where we eat. Oh. Well, how do you like your new job by right now? Oh, gee, it's swell. I don't think it's time you broke off. Okay, be right with you. No, I'm working tonight. What, again? Yeah, that Wilson deal's red hot. I may close it tonight. Well, I wish you luck. Thanks. Do me a favor. Name it. Have dinner with May and take her to a show. Oh, now listen. This well, is the third night right. in a row. All right, May understand. Good night. Good night. Oh, hello, Tom. Hello. Oh, thank you. Don't thank me. Thanks, Steve. Did he send me? Well, not exactly, but I thought... Well, well, what difference does it make? Now, that's really very sweet of you. Tom! I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. I'm mad about you, mate. I have been for weeks. You mustn't say that. I know. I feel awful low doing something like this to you and Steve, but... I guess I'd better go away. Oh, no. I understand. We'll forget all about it. Gee, you're great. Ms. Wilson, if I didn't honestly believe in the investment, I wouldn't come to you. I know, but a hundred thousand dollars is a lot of money. Why, it's, it's almost all I have in the world. All the more reason to invest it wisely. This trust fund will guarantee you an income for life. I'm about to become a partner in the firm. And I give you my word that I'll handle your account personally. I wish you wouldn't jump every time you hear a door open. They're giving me the dinner. I can't help it. I got them all ready. Good morning, Jim. Well, hello, Steve. What is it? What do you think? I closed the Wilson. Did, did, did you get, get the check? <laughs> did I get the check? Well, this is made out to you. Will you endorse it? With pleasure. I know exactly how you feel. Suppose you take the afternoon off and go out and celebrate with your missus. Thank you, Mr. Hardy. I'm just going to suggest the same thing myself. So <laughs> was I. <laughs> well, goodbye, gentlemen. Pop the house later on and help us celebrate, will you? Are you going home so soon? No, I've got to stop and buy all the makings for a real party. Oh, that's swell. I'll be seeing you, boss. Did you ring? 
Why, uh, yes. Here, file this partnership agreement. Yes, sir. Anything else? No, that's all. Excuse me, but isn't this a mistake? What's the matter? Well, shouldn't this name here be Stephen Cummings? The name here is Stephen Nichols. No. His real name is Nichols. What? Do you mean to say that Nichols and Cummings are the same person? Yes, yes. Go on, file it. Say, what's the idea of filing? With that in the files, the cops won't think of anybody but Nichols. He'd be sure to squeal. Sure he will. But if they get it, all we'll have to do is drag out that prison record of his. Hello, Tom. Where's Steve? He just phoned for me to pack. He's made arrangements for us to spend the weekend in the country. Oh, he has, has he? He was afraid you might feel slighted because you weren't asked to join us. But I said you'd understand. Yes, I do understand. This is the first trip we've ever taken together. It's kind of like a honeymoon. It's a getaway. Steve's a crook. His name isn't Cummings at all. It's Nichols. And he's the man I've been looking for. You're crazy. I was crazy to believe in him, but I'm not anymore. And you're not going with him. I heard the whole thing this afternoon. They've stolen a hundred thousand dollars from Mrs. Wilson. Say. Nichols and his two partners. Tell me everything you know about it. I heard Bon and Harley talking. They're taking the 230 plane for Canada. And Nichols thinks he's going with you. But Steve isn't Nichols. Oh, I filed a partnership agreement. He's registered as Nichols. And Harley says that Cummings and Nichols are the same person. They'll send him to prison. Not seen to that. The parole officer is on his way over here now. I phoned him I told Steve. Oh, Tommy. Oh. You still love him? It isn't a question of love anymore. It's disappointment. You want to let him get away. He's been very good to me. I ought to kill him. I was going to. But you know now why I don't. It would be better to forgive him and let him go out of our lives. I think you're right, May. But I can't forget my father. Nichols has got to go back to prison. I think we'll be much happier later on if you... Haven't the memory of having sent a man to prison. I'd like to do it for you, May. Can't you forget revenge? For my sake. He's going back to prison. Maybe you're right. Here he is now. Don't let him touch me. Take me away, Tom. Take me away, Tom. Take me away. Wait a minute, Nichols. Come on, Tom. Let's get out of here. I don't even want to see him. We'll leave as soon as the parole officer gets here. Can you turn me into Donovan so you can steal mail? Yeah, I'm out of it. And you? I took you in when you were starving. Sure, after you'd robbed my father and caused his death. You took me in because you were a coward. You're afraid I'd find you and kill you. Yeah, never mind that now. What about it, May? He didn't steal me. I loved him for weeks. If you hadn't been blind, you'd have seen him. Oh, what's the use of talking to him, May? I may never see him again, and I want to tell him what I think of him. I'd like to know just what sort of lies you've been telling her. Is it a lie that you told me your name was Cummings when you knew you were a notorious thief who changed his name? Is it a lie that you and your crooked partners embezzled the money Mrs. Wilson gave you to invest for us? Is it a lie that they're taking the 230 plane for Canada? No, oh, you're not telling him anything that's new. 
I'll call the bank and have that check stopped. No, you won't. You'll stay just where you are. Oh, let him use it. Donovan will have his rover ghost anyway, so going to thunder in a few minutes. Give me the cashier. Hello? Now, this is the office of Bond and Harley. I want you to stop payment on a check for $100,000 made out by a Mrs. Wilson to Stephen Cummings. Yes, it's been... Huh? Oh. Gone through. Meet headquarters, quick. You always were a coward and a hypocrite. Do you think I'm going to let you squeal to get out of this? Only one chance left to stop. I'm going to the airport. You won't leave this room. Can't you see his game? He wants to escape with the other two. Let him go. Once he gets out of this country, he'll be afraid to come back. Go on, get out. I should have kept him here. And I should have gone with him. But I'm here. I want to tell you something. Sit down. I had to give Steve a chance to prove his innocence. Innocence? When he went to prison, he was framed. And it would have been a cinch to frame him now. If he gets that money back before Harley and Bond escape, you'll believe in him, won't you? But I heard what his partners said. I have faith in Steve. You're still in love with him. Yes. Then all this was just an act? I'm sorry. Someday you'll realize the next to Steve's love for me is his affection for you. Where's Steve Nichols? He's gone to the airport to catch a couple of crooks to try to frame him. I'll run over there. See what it's all about. May, we're going with him to help Steve through this. Just a minute, Derek. <laughs> Thank you.
About a hundred thousand dollars worth. It's in that cape. The cape belongs to us. Yes, that's ours. We're two reputable brokers. Yeah, uh, there's a couple of embezzlers, and they tried to frame me. I never knew there was that much money in the world. Senior, senior, you did get here in time, dear. You bet I did, honey. Well, I might as well tell you, Donovan. I've broken my parole. I've been selling stock under an assumed name. So you violated your parole. Yeah, but he caught these crooks and recovered the money they stole. That's right. Steve, technically you violated your parole. But after what you've just done, if I know anything about our governor, you'll get a full part. Now get out. You do. I'll take care of these crooks. Well, thanks, Donovan. Gee, Steve, I never knew anybody could be as wrong toward a friend as I've been towards you. Tom, it's just one of those things. We've forgotten all about it. Well, come on, kid. We're going home. Thank you.